A ragdoll forward fold is a nice variation of a traditional standing forward fold with a passive stretch that does stretch our hamstrings, the muscles in the back of our legs, but it can also be a really nice stretch on our back muscles because we let our back round. For those of you who watched my videos, you know that normally I'm a very big, strong advocate of keeping your back very flat in our forward folds, but it's okay to round your back. It's not necessarily wrong, but I want you to choose your rounded back with intention and adjust the rest of your body accordingly so that it feels good on your body. And you're not doing it accidentally, compensating for a hamstring stretch or putting too much pressure in your low back. So how we can find our ragdoll forward fold, we're going to start from standing, feet about hip width apart. And because I want this to be more of a back stretch than a hamstring stretch, I'm going to go ahead and bend my knees quite a bit. And then from here, I'm just going to start leaning forwards as much as, com as comfortable, letting my back round. Arms can dangle nice and long, and I'm going to relax my neck. Let my head be nice and heavy. So heavy that I'm looking through my leg as opposed to looking down at the floor. If I look at the floor, you can see my neck is arched. I'm engaging the muscles in the back of my neck. Let that chin go. Let your neck relax. If this feels like a lot of hamstring stretch for you, your hamstrings are really tight, go ahead, bend your knees even more. You can even bend them so much that you're resting your torso on your thighs. I know it looks a little bit more like a squat, but this is going to be gentler on those hamstrings. If you've got a little bit more hip flexibility, maybe your knees are a little less bent, maybe they're all the way straight in your forward fold, go ahead, play with the position of your legs. As long as your upper body is nice and relaxed, and you're feeling a comfortable amount of stretch in those legs and no low back pain, this is the position we're going to hang in. For anywhere from 20 seconds up to a minute, if you're really liking the stretch and it's feeling okay to hold it for a longer time. We can either dangle our arms nice and long, or you can grab your opposite elbows. And I happen to be someone who really likes to move while I stretch, so I usually do a couple sways side to side because I think that feels nice. Or I shake my head yes and no to let my neck relax. But really just keeping nice soft knees here, even if I've got a lot of hamstring flexibility, still keeping them a little bent, or maybe bending them quite generously for those of us who have a bit tighter hamstrings in this position. And then when you're ready to come on out, I really like rounding my back when I come on up to standing to keep that transition nice and gentle. If you want to learn more stretches like this, you should totally check out the Flexipedia on my website. It's a free online library of stretches with detailed how-tos for both passive stretches and active stretches organized by muscle group. You can access the Flexipedia by going to dannywinksflexibility.com slash Flexipedia or simply click the link in its video description.